Hello guys and as you guys can see my hair is super super greasy and I think that that's the story going on with everyone at the moment and that is because of this season going on right now like it's the rains, it's nice and humid and that makes the hair go greasy very quick like much quicker than your regular period of the hair getting greasy hence I have a solution for you guys which not only helps you skip hair washes thank you but it makes it look good like every time I use this I get people asking me that where did you get it from how do you carry it and all of that's gonna be answered now so yes it's a beanie haul plus ways to style and let's start with the haul and the first thing is a beanie <laughs> It's a burgundy beanie and essentially all of my beanies are the same, they're just in different colours so that's the thing with me. If I find something which is essential, cheap, looks amazing, you have to get all the colours available. So I got this beanie from Forever 21 at 239 rupees only without any discount or sale. And unfortunately I picked all of them up last year so I'm not sure if they have come out with this range again because I was looking, I browse online quite a lot sometimes so I just look at everything available and the beanies are ranging from 439 to like 2000 and 3000 so again I was very happy that I bought it and now I'll show you how I style it since burgundy is a slightly formal colour, we are going to go for a slightly formal hairstyle and we'll start with picking a fringe. All we have to do is pull our hair on our forehead and tuck it behind our ear. This will help it stay in place and when we wear the beanie, it will look as if we have a fringe. Then grabbing a bobble which matches our hair colour, we are going to tie a ponytail but we are going to tie the rubber band around just once and when it's the second turn, we're going to take only half of our hair out, leaving the rest in the shape of a bun. Yes, and then we have a little loose strand which you can wrap around the bun if you want. I usually just leave it out because I like it to be messy. And now it's the favorite time. We just have to tuck on the beanie. So how you're going to go about it is that you're going to take the beanie and fold it once and let the folds thickness be as small or as big whatever fits the head the best and there you go there you have it a well put together nice semi formal casual whatever you want to call it I quite like it you can just adjust it you can make it as messy or as nice it is just your playground next up is my all time favorite most of the time i wear this and surprise surprise it's a black beanie it goes with every single thing and again this is for 239 and to describe it i would say it is very very soft like it is soft, the softest thing and you never realize you're wearing something and uh, you just love it this is how it looks from inside like it comes with little uh, tags that you can rip but it's just a thing with me that I don't usually like to rip things like rip these off unless and until they are actually irritating me so this doesn't irritate me because it helps me realize that this is a new product so yes this is the second beanie this next one is my go to just like my beanie so I'm first going to mess around with my fringe and try to make it look fresher and non-greasy and then again as we did in our previous hairstyle we are going to fake a fringe so essentially what we do is we pull our hair out and then tuck it behind our ear and that's how simple it is and since you're gonna have a beanie on top nobody's gonna realize how greasy and flat your hair on the head is and that all they're gonna notice is your fringe and your bottom hair which usually looks much fresher than the scalp to be honest like at least that's what it is for me and i love 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 it because since i do not have a fringe see when you don't have something you like to have it so this gives me a temporary fringe and then i don't crave for cutting myself on so i really like it you can make it messy by pulling strands out but it's just your playground i love it <laughs> the third beanie is so i've got all the three together so I'll show you the one which you saw the first, the olive green one. 
this is such a unique color again for 239 and this is a very different shade of olive green like obviously you're getting a lot of greens at the moment and yeah so i just picked it up it was 239 as well and absolutely love it So for this next one, we are again going to pick a fringe. Now, as I told you guys, usually I like fringes, but then when they grow to this uncertain length, I hate them. So whenever I wear beanies, most of the times I pick a fringe. And so after we are done with that, we are going to now do a fancy braid. And usually the fishtail braid is the one which I go for the most. And if you don't already know how to do it, don't worry, I'm here. And what you're essentially going to do is divide your hair into two parts and then take the outermost section from each part and bring it to the middle. Like with the help of the thumb, take the outermost strand, bring it to the middle, outermost strand, pop it out, bring it to the middle, <laughs> middle. Take it from the out, bring it to the middle, take it from the out, bring it to the middle. It sounds like a tongue twister for me. <laughs> And once we are done with our braid, we are going to secure it with a bobble which matches our hair color. And I usually tend to secure my braids slightly higher because I have my hair cut in layers and if I tie it too low, then I cannot flare and pull my braid out. And you'll, you'll see that now. We are now going to pull it out and make it look so much bigger and healthier. I love it. See how much of a difference it makes. And now the last and best bit is we are going to throw on our beanie, which will just make, just elevate this entire look. Usually I follow this line and let it be placed on my head where a hairband would have been. And that helps me to be you know to keep the beanie in the exact place where it looks perfect. Look how cute that looks. I just love faking fringes. The fourth beanie is also from this range. And this was the beanie I wore the first outside my house. And that day it just boosted my confidence up so much it was a day at college and I don't know how weird I am how am I so weird I actually wore this the first time to college like I haven't usually seen people wear beanies at my college and I wore, I wore this last year and I don't think it was winter also I think it was the monsoons only and people were literally staring and some girls did come uh, walk up and appreciate and that just boosted my confidence that yes I can carry this and ever since then I wear my beanies every time I want to wear them so this is a little um, off-white beanie it's not exactly cream I would call it off-white but it looks super amazing let me yeah hold it here because there the lighting is messing with it love it <laughs> Again, this is from that same range, so it's put with her and only, and that is how I style it. Okay, since this is a nice and bright and energetic color, like I love this particular beanie when I'm in a very happy mood. So what we are essentially going to do is just fold our beanie once as we've done always just throw it on just do nothing just throw it on and it just looks so nice like the idea with this one is not to fake the fringe sorry for that little hair popping out but then it's just about being messy being not bothered just being fun and yet presentable and the last beanie is from the men's range now i have been watching youtube videos a lot you got a sneak peek right there didn't you so I watch YouTube videos a lot and YouTube is such a big whole world family that I do watch a lot of YouTubers from other countries and beanies are the holy grail in other countries. So I always wanted a beanie and then I spotted this one on the Fuller 21 website when it was not down last year in summer. 
and uh, I ordered it even though I paid more for shipping than its price I think and this is from the men's section and they didn't have any women beanies at that time and I was like who's gonna come to know and you will see that soon nobody comes to know I just love it it's a nice charcoal grey color and I think it cost me either 200 or 235 either of the two I believe it was for 200 and yeah that's the last bit So this last one is for all those of you who don't like cute stuff and there are days when all of us feel that we just cannot be bothered to look cute today and for those days here is the simplest and the least bothering hairstyle just make any simple braid ponytail whatever you prefer to call it and I don't know why I'm struggling out there but you can just make any any simple braid and then you just throw on the beanie, it's that simple. Again, once we are done with our ponytail, we're going to secure it slightly higher than usual with the bobble if you have layered hair and then pull it to make it look fatter, sicker, healthier. Yeah. And the best final bit is to throw the beanie on. Now I love this particular hairstyle, but I honestly believe that it would look better with a plain black t-shirt or any plain t-shirt to be honest like a plain white or plain black t-shirt and then so I'll just give you an idea how much better it would look by just closing or zipping up my zipper <laughs> see how better it looks right now it looks like a jogging outfit but then if you wear a nice plain black cap sleeves t-shirt it would honestly look so much better now alternatively you can also do the same with two plaits You know the best part is that two plaids or braids have so much come back into fashion and they have always looked nice so let's try and get away with them. Big nose alert. So a little disclaimer, not a disclaimer but um, the thing that I want to say is that you can just do any hairstyle with any color beanie. It's just that I had these different colors so I just did a different hairstyle with everyone. But you can totally just pair up any style which suits your mood, which you think goes with the outfit and just start it with any of your beanie. And you do not need to wear a hoodie but I just wore it for fun. I, I like it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and also if you uh, do not like the fashion of beanies then I should have said this earlier. Then I also have another hack to get rid of greasy hair without washing them and I'll link that right there which is uh, the natural dry shampoo method and there I will give you a hack of how to use something that you are most probably to have in your house to get rid of greasy hair and um, I'll see you guys very very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching and do like it if you enjoyed it. Goodbye!